ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Go Home review of the Go Home episode of Monday Night Raw as we get set for WrestleMania 33 live in Orlando, Florida, where you can find on the WWE Network or you can simply get up and go. But what a night. Let's get right into it. You know who I am, Brian H. Waters. You know where to find me at Wrestling Realm at Brian H. Waters. Wow, what an ending. Yet again, Goldberg, Lesnar, Lesnar and Heyman sit up there getting hyped in the ring. And Heyman's talking all this trash. Finally, Goldberg says, you know what? Since I can't take everybody to WrestleMania, why don't I bring WrestleMania to Philly? And Lesnar gets out there, tries to go after him, and boom, Goldberg drives the shoulders right into Brock Lesnar's ribs with a spear, and Lesnar was left writhing in pain, and wow. Now, here's the thing, I gotta say it, because somebody's gonna say it, so it might as well be me. If you know wrestling, and you've been watching wrestling all these years, this will be 33 WrestleManias for me. This will also be, excuse me while I count the math, 20 minus 13 minus 9, um, excuse me, 24, yeah, 24 go home episodes of Monday Night Raw. Wow, how about that? Every time the face. You know, not the face or the heel. Every time the person who gets hit last usually is the person to go over. So that'll be my first prediction. The only prediction I'll get is that Brock Lesnar will leave WrestleMania as the Universal Champion unless there's an audible call. I tell you what will not happen. Goldberg will not leave as the Universal Champion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Raw started off real hot with the women's match. First time this has ever happened on a go home show. For WrestleMania. That right there should let you know that the women are being respected. The women's revolution overall is being respected in the WWE. Now, while Charlotte, Bailey, Nia Jax, and Sasha Banks have now been announced that they will be battling for the women's title in a elimination match, this match should deliver. And I think one thing we learned that Nia Jax will not be scared of the moment. Tonight, she made her presence known after her and Charlotte lost to Sasha and Bailey in a tag team match, as I like to call it in the Russell Realm, a Teddy Long special. Um, but nonetheless, for her to take out her opponents right afterwards lets you know she's ready. Now, let's move on, because one thing we saw tonight was the dead man go back to doing dead man things. Undertaker went to the grave site where he told Roman Reigns that he was going to put him down. Roman said he was the, he was going to do something that no man's ever done that was put down the dead man. Now Twitter says, well, what about Brock Lesnar? Brock Lesnar beat him and then Undertaker collapsed at the end. But I think one thing Roman was saying is he was going to finish the Undertaker once and for all. But the Undertaker and his mind games, and this is where you have to wonder, what will happen? Is this the final resting place for the Undertaker? Will it be Orlando, Florida, or will we see Roman Reigns come up short? I'll have a prediction show where I will give you my thoughts on that coming up later this week. And then we saw Triple H. And Seth Rollins. And one thing we learned from the game is that he loved Seth Rollins. But he told him, you know, he, he reminded you of a father telling his son that this world, you got to do whatever it takes to get ahead in this world. And because you listen to the wrong crowd, because you listen to those fans, to those people, now you find yourself in a situation where you will not be able to succeed. And, and and now it's going to be an unsanctioned match. And Rollins is not 
here's the question. Can Seth Rollins find a way to become, to avenge himself and get back on track to becoming the WWE Universal Champion later on? Or will we see Triple H put a hurt in and end Rollins once and for all? Only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. WrestleMania is coming. I will be there. Make sure you find me. Tweet me at Brian H. Waters. Let's have fun. This is our week, wrestler fans. So until the next time, make sure you, matter of fact, make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes. Make sure you subscribe to us on SoundCloud. Make sure you are subscribed to us on YouTube and like the page on Facebook. And you will learn that you can find all cool content. And guess what? I'm having WrestleMania specials. I'm bringing to you my top five favorite WrestleMania matches. My top favorite WrestleMania moments. I even brought moments that I thought should change. Could have changed the landscape of WrestleMania. I'll give you one of them. If Triple H beat... If, no, excuse me. If Triple H lost to Booker T at WrestleMania 19, I said that would have been the greatest WrestleMania in history. Or even in fact, if Kurt Angle... Missed the, if Brock Lesnar, excuse me, I'm so tired, I'm so excited. If Brock Lesnar hit the shooting star press, but that's just a little insight. Until the next time, I'm Brian H. Waters. So long, everybody.